You know what I love best about Buffalo and Western New York? What's that, Ben? It's the music, the culture, the sports, the people, and the food. And with so many attributes that our part of the country embraces, it's hard to choose just one favorite. But I guess since we're producing a show about local restaurant treasures, let's stick with the food. I'm Lisa Payne from the Grapevine Restaurant. And I'm Tom Payne. And this Sunday morning on Come Dine With Me Western New York, I'm the featured chef. So if you've got plans to tailgate before the game and you want to impress your guests, you can do it with a crab and lobster dip that's quick, easy, and delicious. We use a, uh, a lobster claw meat. It's very tasty, but it's a lot less expensive than the tail meat. Then we use a, uh, this is a crab, this is a blue swimming crab. Looks a little different than the snow crab you're used to, but it has a good flavor and it's not quite as expensive. And we're gonna add a little bit of shredded uh, cheddar cheese. Actually, quite a bit of shredded cheddar cheese. <laughs> <laughs> this Sunday morning, we introduce a new chef to our Come Dine With Me family. His name is Jeff Rexinger, but in some circles, he goes by Grill Boy. Jeff loves the latest in cooking gadgetry, so he's eager to show us how it's done on the Big Green Egg, the ultimate cooking experience. When we got here, Joe had the green egg fired up already. Then we put the vegetables and the corn on, the little bit of hickory wood that he put in there for flavor. Steamed vegetables are great, but now you add that flavor of the charcoal to it, it really makes a difference. I think the key to making pork tenderloin is not overcooking it and keeping it in a high heat initial temperature and then dropping the heat and letting it cook slowly within. When you sear the pork loin, the natural sugars that were in the hoisin sauce from the raisins really create a caramelization that seals the juice into the meat product. Then our own Chef Marco is in the kitchen making one of his favorites, stuffed Italian toast. So we throw our ricotta cheese mix in here, our cannoli filling, into the pastry bag, push it to the bottom that pocket, remember that pocket I told you about? Open it up. We're stick our pastry bag right in there and we're gonna fill it with about two ounces of cannoli filling. And we're gonna set that aside. Finally, we invade another Western New York kitchen. We're heading to North Buffalo's University District to cook Jamaican style, man. So when we met with Diane for the first time, she said that she absolutely loves Jamaica and she wanted to do a Jamaican menu because she wanted to actually learn how to do the food. So who better? We have Krista Van Wagner. Living in the islands, living in Jamaica, I had the perfect recipes for this home invasion. She did her jerk chicken. It's a very simple marinade consisting of allspice, which is indigenous to Jamaica, and also one of my favorites, coconut rice and beans. And Art did an amazing job on his conch chowder, which was a perfect complement to the rest of the theme that we prepared today. I did meat patties, which actually came out pretty good. So tune in this Sunday morning at 11.30 right here on Channel 7 for Come, Come Dine, Dine With Me, Western New York. York. Brought to you by Key Video Productions.